Hello everyone and welcome to my top 10 Riven animation cancels and combos. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because everybody always asks me, hey man, which combos are the most important? How do I do this combo? Which one should I practice? And to start off with, I'm just going to tell you the most important thing is the fast combo, which is why that's what we're going to start off with in a second. By far and large, the most important thing for you to learn is the fast combo. Everything after that is just to practice on your own and really, you know, learn at, at your own pace. But by far, if you want to learn Riven and get good with her as quick as you can, just learn how to do the fast combo. Without further ado, let's just get started. So number one is the fast combo. Like I said, this is her bread and butter. This is everything that Riven is essentially as a champion. If you can't do this, you're not going to be able to play her at a high level because Riven is all about spacing your auto attacks correctly in between your cues, using your empowered autos, making the most use of her passive. A lot of people misconceptually think that Riven is actually more of a spellcaster or most of her damage comes from her spells, which is entirely not true. Most of Riven's damage actually comes from her auto attacks, but her spells are what empower her AAs. So if you don't auto attack very well, and if you don't fast combo well, you're never going to do as much damage as you potentially could. Now it's worth noting that I actually do have a guide on this. It's like a 16 minute super boring guide that I made a while ago. It is a good video and it still holds up today. So if you haven't seen it, if you want to watch it, you can. It's boring. It takes forever, but that's pretty much the best way to learn without you just practicing it on your own. But as with all these combos, the most important part is just to practice. Now, next up is the EWQ or the double cast combo. Now, this is very important because Riven's W not only stuns the target, but it also stuns her because it locks her in the animation. When she releases the energy from her sword, it actually makes her stay where she is for a little while. So if you can double cast this and add a Q after your W, you can actually do it very quickly and you can use two abilities at the same time. What's also nice about this is if you have Thunderlords or Storm Raiders, this is a really easy way to proc those two masteries because you do a lot of damage very quickly. The most important thing about this is actually realizing you need to wait a little bit of time after you use your E before you lead into your WQ. So it's E, delay, about 0.2 seconds, and then WQ. You have three quarters of a second after the delay to cast two abilities at the same time. So just practice it. E, wait a little bit, WQ, and you'll get it every time. Next up, we have the ERQ or the ER third Q. Now, this is very nice because it allows you to cancel your R ability. It allows you to cast it and also use the wind slash at the same time as using your Q. It's very similar to the EWQ double cast. You'll see that the E comes up a lot because the E enables the double cast abilities. A lot of Riven's combos will start off with her E because that allows all of these combos afterwards to use two abilities at the same time. However, in this case, it is worth noting because the R does not lock Riven in place, it does not lock her in the animation, technically you can just RQ, so you can do things like Flash RQ or R Flash Q. There's a lot that you can do that doesn't include the E, but the E is the easiest way to do this, but I just wanted to let that be noted. Also, if you do it without the third Q, it looks like this. Number four is the RW or the ERW. Once again, what sucks about Riven's W is that it locks her in place, but what you can do here is actually cast your Wind Slash at the same time as your W, so you're not wasting any time. You're still stun locked for a second, you're still locked in that animation of the W, but instead of only being stuck in it, why don't you just cast your Wind Slash with it? It's very nice, and it actually gets a lot of people off guard with how much damage you can do very quickly because you cast your Wind Slash and W at the same time, so there's two abilities hitting them at once, as well it's a good way to finish off people when they're low. Number five is the infamous Tiamat W. Now, Tiamat can be used with multiple different abilities with Riven. It can be used with the R, it can be used with the E, it can be used with the Q, which is why I have that listed at the top. But the easiest thing to do, once again, the W locks you in place, but you can use the Tiamat and the W at the same time, so you're not wasting any animation time. Tiamat W, very nice, easy wave clear as well, so that's worth noting. And also, it's just a very nice burst combo. Number six is one of the most important, R flashing. It's actually not flash R, that is written correctly, R flash. If you cast your wind slash and then immediately flash, you can extend the range of how far you can throw your wind slash and cast it immediately once you land from your flash little teleport. 
practicing this is scary at first because if you mess it up not only do you waste your wind slash but you also waste your flash so i would recommend you practice this in a custom game first before trying this in a real game but once you get it once honestly it's not that hard to do because it's only two buttons Next up is something very simple, but yet also very effective. This is QEQ. It allows you to cover a lot of ground very fast, and you can actually use three gap closers almost all instantaneously. It's kind of like, I don't know if it's glitched or what, but it actually allows you to use it faster than you would. You can actually QEQ faster than you can QQE or EQQ. Now, number eight is a doozy, as you can see at the top of the screen, but I have R1 in parentheses because you already want to have your R activated before you start this. And I also have those abilities in green at the top because this technically falls under the category of a triple cast. This is not a double cast anymore. We are casting three abilities at the same time. We are Eing to activate our double or triple cast. We are R2, Q, W, all at the same time. Now this combo was the first major combo that I learned, so if it doesn't have a name, you can just call this the exile combo if you want, you know, it doesn't really matter. But the only bad thing about this combo is that there's no way to unlock yourself from the, the W animation. However, because you cast three abilities at the same time, this is a very high burst damage combo. The rest of it, after the green stuff, after the triple cast, you can really just cast whatever you want. You can Q team at, you can team at Q, you can auto team at Q. The, the rest is just what I did in this example, but you can throw in whatever flavor you want after your triple cast. Now this is one of the hardest things to do on this list because this is the ER flash third Q. It's very important to do this if you want to know how to engage and win teamfights on Riven because you can knock up potentially three, four, even five members of the enemy team. This will take you a lot of practice. You're going to mess this up a lot. You're going to use your third Q before your flash. You're going to use your R before your E. There's a lot of things that can be messed up here, but trust me, after a lot of practice, you will get this. In this case, it's actually very worth noting that it is much easier to do this if you have flash on F instead of D because you can actually go ERF in kind of an upside down L formation rather than ERD which isn't quite in that L formation so it's a little bit harder to do. And finally, number 10 is just going to be showing you guys a one-shot combo that I did on this vein here. This is from a real game. This is not against a bot. This is ERQ Flash W Auto Attack RQ Tiamat. Now that's a mouthful. That's a lot to do, but honestly, it's not too hard once you just realize the parts ERQ into Flash W into Auto Attack RQ Tiamat. So it's not as hard as you would think, but it is very difficult and will take you a lot of games to practice, like I said. But just remember to not give up, don't give up on yourself, and just keep practicing over and over and over again, and it will eventually come to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this helped you, please hit that like button because that helps me out. I help you, you help me. It's it's kind of a, it's a give and take, you know what I mean? Thank you guys so much, like I said. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>